Beats on Beats, boy. So, Frank Warren has come out and said he wants a 50 50 split with Anthony Joshua for a Tyson Fury Anthony Joshua fight. Laughable. Laughable for me. Based on what, fish eyes? Based on Tyson Fury has no belt? What's the attraction for Anthony Joshua? The only thing Tyson Fury offers in fighting Anthony Joshua is credit for beating him. That's it. He's not the legitimate lineal heavyweight champion. Never was. Because Vlad was never the lineal heavyweight champion. Lineage stopped when Lennox Lewis retired. Tyson Fury had the ring magazine belt, which many get confused with the lineal title belt. Tyson Fury no longer holds that belt. Now, about eight months ago, when Tyson Fury said he could beat Anthony Joshua with one hand tied behind his back any time, any place, while he was weighing 400 pounds, Anthony Joshua said, look, you get your shit sorted, get yourself into shape and come see me. Tyson Fury says he wants 60-40 in favour of himself to fight Anthony Joshua. I mean, I like Tyson Fury. He talks a lot of shit and it's funny. But there's some shit that's over the top and ridiculous. Just like the statement from Frank Warren. 50-50 with the A-side, the big dog. It's laughable. Yes, Tyson Fury put in a great performance in a fight which I believe he won against Deontay Wilder despite getting knocked down twice. It was given a draw. Both these guys, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, are being silly with their demands. They're trying to A-side the A-side. It ain't going to work. For big paydays, these guys can fight each other for a decent payday. It's nowhere near as big as fighting Anthony Joshua. As we've seen, you know, Tyson Fury earned three million. Deontay Wilder earned four million, plus a bit of pay-per-view money. But nothing more than a million each for the pay-per-views. And fight revenue and so forth. Nobody's making more than about six million dollars tops. So the options these guys have are to fight each other, but after that, they're back down to making little amounts of money in the scheme of elite fighting. Down to fighting for around one or two million dollars each after that. Whereas Anthony Joshua, he holds three recognized belts if these guys don't want to get real and take a reasonable cut you know somewhere between 35 to 40 percent they're not going to get the fight and anthony joshua can continue making more than 10 million dollars a fight just fighting his mandatories anthony joshua has the power to sit on his offers and wait for these guys to get real or not make a lot of money. That's the options they have. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a Anthony Joshua fanboy. I just accept the facts of the situation. The reality of the situation. If these guys don't want to get real... They're holding their position hostage. 
Deontay Wilder holding that WBC belt hostage. Tyson Fury holding his credibility as one of the best boxers in the world hostage. If he really wants to fight the best and make really good money, then he'd take a deal. It's obvious to me that there is a deal on the table for Tyson Fury from Anthony Joshua. As is a deal on the table for Deontay Wilder to fight Anthony Joshua. Realistic deals in my eyes. Neither of these guys will be getting offered less than 35%. Which, coincidentally, is more than Joseph Parker got offered. And these guys will have a percentage of fight revenue included in those deals too. Keep in mind that when Anthony Joshua fights his mandatories, if they go to purse bid, depending on what governing body they're worth, the splits are set. I believe the IBF is 75-25 at a purse bid. The WBO is 60-40. And the WBA, I think, is 70-30. The WBC is also 70-30 if those go to purse bid. But if Anthony Joshua fights his mandatories and ends up in purse bids, and Eddie Hearn wins the purse bids. He takes all of the fight revenue. Right? So. These guys. Fury and Wilder. Have offers on the table. With purse percentages. And. A fight revenue percentage as well. They have rematch clauses. Included. Deontay Wilder in particular, if he loses against Anthony Joshua in the UK, he still gets a rematch in the USA. I'm not sure on the Tyson Fury offer. I haven't heard anything, but obviously Frank Warren coming out and saying he's got he wants 50-50. There's an offer on the table that he's trying to push up. But we us as fans, we're gonna be sitting here frustrated and pissed off until one of these guys accepts a deal to fight Anthony Joshua and like I said they can go and fight each other that's fine that's all good they can go and make their money put on a good show again but after that what they still want to play silly buggers and try and A side the A side that ain't gonna work man going to try and freeze Anthony Joshua out what's it going to do it's just going to show the world that you're holding your position hostage simple as that because Anthony Joshua will continue to fight his mandatories and still make around 20 million dollars a fight easy peasy while these two guys sit around playing silly buggers saying I'm the best Anthony Joshua is scared, he's a coward, all because they won't accept the reasonable deal. It's getting to the point where it's farcical, even co comedic. So, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, get real. Get real so we can get some big fights happening. I want to see them. If you want to go and do your rematch, that's fine. Do it early next year. Enjoy the money you make. But then after that, you're not going to have any bargaining power. The winner will have bargaining power, but it's still not going to get either of them to 50-50. No matter what happens, their market value is not going to meet Anthony Joshua's until one of them fights him. 
if one of them fights him and beats him, well, the world is your oyster. You get the A side. You get to make the demands. But until then, you're fucking dreaming, man. Big Boys Boxing, we out. Till.